Greetings everyone, my name's Dom and today I'm going to be giving those who are looking at getting into PC gaming some tips and pointers. So, summer is coming up and maybe you want to try and earn some money for a possible PC build. Or maybe you just want to get into the whole PC gaming scene as it is becoming rather popular over these last couple years due to YouTube and other social media sources uh, having a massive influence in it. Either way, I'm going to be going over 5 tips to help you guys out. I will also be making an ultimate guide to PC gaming at some point soon, so if you want to know everything there is about PC gaming and what it entails, do click right here to find that out. But without further ado, let's get into our first tip. Tip number 1. Build your own PC. Do not buy pre-built. I cannot tell you the number of times I have looked in my comments section on my FPS tutorials and seen Oh my god, this didn't work. I have a £1,000 PC and I still have 10 FPS. And then when I asked them for the specs which I have to tell them how to get, they show me the specs of a PC that should have costed $300 and not $1,000. That's no exaggeration. There is a lot of big name brands like Alienware or Razer being the most popular here, which will rip you the hell off. Through building your PC, you not only learn how it all works first hand, but you do so cheaply with a much better result at the end of it, which is you being proud of what you built. And let me tell you, the feeling when you first boot up your PC is incredible. Building it is better in every single way, I can assure you. I mean, another benefit that I can think of is you don't have loads of that bloatware on your computer which pops up and slows you down whenever you open up your, onto your desktop. A lot of people get scared they'll break something when building a PC, but in reality this is a very hard thing to do. I have a video on my channel of me showing you guys how to build a PC, in it is top of the line specs and is actually the PC that I use to make all my videos, including this one, so if you're curious about that, check that out in the description down below, uh, or click on screen now, and you'll probably learn a lot. Building is the best option as long as you know what you're doing, which leads us on to our second tip. And tip number two, research your parts. PC gaming is a fantastic thing, but one that becomes much easier and much more enjoyable when you know what you're doing. I don't just mean in building your PC, I mean in general as well. Your computer may suddenly crash and you'll have no clue what the problem is with a pre-built because you didn't build it. This may cause you to fork out a ton of money shipping it to get diagnosed and repaired, a process which is likely very simple and very easy to fix in a matter of minutes. But how would you know if you didn't have the knowledge? Well, you wouldn't, so research is key here. Although I wouldn't huff and puff in your seat because it's really not as bad or as taxing as you may think. I just subscribed to Linus and other PC gamers, watched a bunch of PC build videos and followed a blog which helped me when researching into the world of PC gaming back when I was getting into it. If I didn't know what something was when, that I heard in a video, for example a GPU, then I would search up on Tom's Hardware, a forum for that kind of stuff, and I found the result instantly. Besides that, actually choosing your parts is just as important as well. Some may not be compatible with each other, um, but most is pretty self-explanatory, such as Intel CPUs on Intel socket motherboards, but it does go more in depth than that, such as getting into different CPU sockets as well as different generations of RAM. This may all sound very confusing to you, but a site I found very useful was PC Part Picker. It's best to start off by selecting the CPU you want. All the incompatible motherboards are not included in the listings, so it is only possible for you to make a PC that will work when you buy all the parts and put it together. For example, if you picked an Intel i7-4790K, it wouldn't show you any of the AMD socket motherboards or any of the Intel socket motherboards that are on a different chipset. It would only show you motherboards that are on the LGA-1150 socket, as that is the socket that supports the i7-4790K. I will leave a link to the site in the description below, but let's get on to tip number 3. And tip number 3 is be smart about your upgrades. So what a lot of new PC gamers think is that you have to upgrade your PC every year otherwise it'll become a slow dinosaur that it's old and breaking and blowing up. This is simply not true at all. It's just that a lot of people do upgrade their PC every year because, well, they like to. And so might you. So, when it comes to upgrading, what do you get? What's a good thing to upgrade? What do you upgrade first? How much should you spend? When about should you upgrade? All these questions are answered in detail in this video here on my channel, so if you'd like to find that out, 
uh, then just click here, but I'll give you an abbreviated answer now. Around August to September time is generally when the new GPUs come out for Nvidia. If it gets close to then, and you're wondering whether to upgrade to something current, but better, or wait a month and get the new GPU that's even better, I would say waiting is the best option, because when you wait, the old GPUs go down in price anyway, so you'll be at a better standpoint when it comes to buying your specs then rather than a month beforehand. However, if you have the money now, now being April, I would advise buying because after these new Pascal GPUs from Nvidia come out, there'll be something leaked that will, you know, say, oh, it's coming out soon. There'll always be something right round the corner that's new, so fuck it, just buy it now. So that covers when you should upgrade, but what about what you should upgrade? This is quite simple. Upgrade what is most needed in your PC out of your core components. By that I mean prioritise whether you need a new CPU and motherboard, more slash new RAM, or a new GPU. It also depends on what you do with your PC, and what you want to do with your PC. My previous PC had an Intel Pentium which has two cores and an R9280X 80 GPU, which is still decent today. The thing is, I wanted to make videos and so I had to upgrade my CPU to an i7-5820K along with a new motherboard to support it. This new CPU has 6 cores and hyperthreading, which essentially gives leeway for 6 times the performance of my previous setup. Performance that I put towards editing and rendering and not just gaming. On the flip side, if you have a decent i5 or i7, that's a second generation, and you only want to game, but you are stuck with a GPU from 2008. I would upgrade the GPU as that is what will have the most impact on what you want to do with your PC. Before we head into tip number 4, I want to give a quick reminder here to those that participate in the Tripe Benefit System. The indicating word today is Snuffle, so comment that down below if you want that free game of your choice. For those who don't know what the Tripe Benefit System is, I will now tell you. The Benefit System is a way for me to say thank you to all those who stick with the channel. The more you stick with the channel, commenting, liking, and giving feedback and such, the more chance you have of winning a game of your choice. You do have to say subscribed for this, and remember, the more low you are, the more chance you have of winning. Comment the indicating word below once you are subscribed, and you may be the next winner. I would like to say congratulations to Galvanize TV who won this month's giveaway. Remember guys, if you didn't win it this time, but you still entered, then that entry will still carry over onto next time, so generally, the more you stay loyal, the more you have of, you know, the more chance you have of winning the game. It's really, really that simple. Okay, tip number four, purchase games on third party websites. So now you will have built your PC and you have upgraded it or whatever. And so now it's time for the actual games bit. The glorious PC platform brings forth the opportunity for cheap games, far cheaper than any console marketplace. And no, I'm not just talking about Steam sales occasional deal, great as they are. I'm talking about something far more enticing. I tend to buy my games now on third party sites such as Kinguin, G2A and OKS. What benefit they have over Steam Marketplace is that they are far cheaper, and that's not only for a day or two, they are always incredibly cheap. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is a good example of this. On Steam it was £40, but on G2A it was £25. That's nearly 50% off for a AAA game at launch. That's not the only game either. Any game you could think of, G2A, Kinguin and OKS have all got you covered. Some games I would recommend any PC gamer check out is Armor 2 and 3, Battlefield, Star Citizen, DayZ Mod, Rust, Counter Strike Go, Gmod, Fallout 4, The Witcher 3, and finally GTA 5. These games, I feel anyway, are far more superior on the PC platform than the console platform. Whether it's because you get better access to visuals, better performance, mods, exclusives and such, these are some games I would definitely recommend you try out on PC. If you'd like a bit of comedy, Chivalry Medieval Warfare is a hilarious game to play, far better than its console counterpart on the 360. Tip number 5, enjoy the games you play. Now when I say this, I mean enjoy them more. There are many ways to enjoy your games, so many, but before I get into that I would first like to give you some warning. Don't overindulge yourself in the benefits of PC gaming, and then become one of those twats who goes on console graphics comparisons commenting, HA! Ah, PC gaming is better in every way! Puzzles, ha ha! Drink Dorito juice, ha! Ah, PC Master Race! Because it is very degrading to the PC community, and you're just making yourself look like a complete twat. The benefits to PC gaming are many, but don't rub it into others' faces unless they say stupid things like, Console has better graphics than PC! Or something like that. 
Now that disclaimer is out of the way, here's how you can enjoy games more. One good way to enjoy games more and give them better longevity is by joining a group on a particular game such as armor or squad and then hanging out with them to play. There's nothing better than building a bond with someone with very similar interests to you. Working with friends in game as opposed to on your own means you can have some cheeky banter between you and you get a lot more shit done, which increases the amount of fun you have. Don't get me wrong, you can have fun on your own, but today's modern gaming is best experienced with friends, in my opinion anyway, especially if it's a skill based or tactical shooter like Armour, CSGO or Squad. Boom, here we go baby, bonus round! So here's a quick tip for you if you're a newbie, never pre-order a game, particularly AAA games from Ubisoft and the blokes who made Batman Arkham Knight because they make shit PC ports. You don't want to spend £30 on a game that doesn't work, so just wait until it comes out and see the video reviews on YouTube. You can't play it until then anyway, so you're basically losing nothing. Final tip is don't be afraid to dip your hands in the sweet and sour sauce. By sweet and sour sauce, I mainly mean peripherals. I don't know how that's a metaphor. Getting something that will enhance your gameplay experience is awesome. Good examples of this are a new pair of headphones, some sweet 7.1 surround sound system, or maybe a new 144Hz monitor so you can see up to that nice, smooth 144fps, a 21x9 monitor instead of a 16x9 widescreen one, a VR headset like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, or even a higher resolution display like 4K. There's so many things that you can do to push your PC to the limits and squeeze the maximum amount of fun stuff from your gaming experience on the PC. But anyway guys, if you did like this video then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face and I will see you guys in the next one. Dara.